Hey, hey, hey! Boat doctor here. Hey, Big Jim, you don't look so bad today. You may need a little sprucing up. Beautiful day, as you can see. Tide's coming in. Probably a seven knot wind out of the north. I should have been a newscaster, eh? Now I should be a Canadian, eh? Okay. Enough of that. Let's talk about this boat. He's got a load right. Aluminum channel trailer. Way to go. You don't have to worry about the cross members and stuff like in there getting water in and rusting out down the years and they do a steel reach which is smart because some of the bow weight you can't do aluminum is just too much and it'll bend them you got the two inch ball with a flat flip which is a good one with a lock pin brake fluid was good i checked that two inch ball chains you should cross those i didn't do that now always make sure this is on you i i do this but i wouldn't recommend it because you have to get out anyway but that way I don't forget on some of those that want to just slide right off the trailer. You got your running lights. They work. Nice tall top. See, I'm about six foot. No, not my feet. I'm six foot from here up, okay? It, well, I should have said forward leaning window. T-tops. It gets hot. Take one off. I'll show you how that works. Roof rails, bow rails. Now, if I remember right, I've had these out before. These were pretty amazing, actually. Uh, it, it shocked me how good they rode. And I think it's because they put the, uh, no, the bulkhead, not the bulkhead, but the cabin back a little bit. So, but they gave you a lot of room, but it actually rode pretty damn decent in the short chop. It didn't really beat you up too much. They got good reverses. See how they go here and they indent it in like a pre-flexed hole almost. And then they got nice reverse chine going back. So that's why they're so stable. It's the 2024-19 Yellowtail. Look at the room. 19 foot boat. Look at that. Two people, sliders, swivels. Got like a little fish box if you want to use it. Now all the cushions, you should have a snap cushion here, here for the back, back. Them are the lids, I took them off just so I could show you everything. You got your, I would change that to a Yamaha next year. Once a year you wanna change your fuel filter or water separator, they call them. But go to the Yamaha, they're a five paper element. They can withstand a lot more water in them. Uh, wash down pump, you got your fuel tank. You can just look back here. Plus I think you had a fuel uh, gauge up front. So the cushions, the bag drop, see. Now I don't know about up there, you should have some type of a uh, lid that goes up there, I'd imagine. But all that stuff needs to be put in the boat. Anchor lights works. Nice hard top. Got a dome light. Cleat. Cleat. Right where you need them. For the bow, it comes in here, drains out. That's a good idea. Who's got the bigger? Must be about 15s. Yeah, 15s. So this trailer is more than adequate for this boat. Just going from like a 14 to a 15 or 15 to a 16, every like 14 or 15, you could add 500 GVW to your trailer just by tire size. Just a little heads up. This sucker is never going to go anywhere. They bolt down 5200s. <laughs> you ain't getting that thing off. Uh, 150, smart. Okay, you can 115. But you know, you don't need to get overly big on this boat. 150. This thing's going to be a rocket with the 150 on it. Probably two, two and a half seconds to plane. Just cruises at 30, easy. Live well. So that's a wash down actually. Pickup screen, drain plug. I use mine. Trim tabs. I don't really see this boat using the trim tabs too much, to be honest with you. Uh, but even if you don't use them all the way up, just this extension out is part of the hole. So sometimes just by adding those without using them will make a difference in porpoising or leaning without even putting them up or down, just having that extension out. Flat pot out the back, and that's again what makes it stable when you have people in the back. Drain, another little bait box. And we get up here. Your dual batteries, your selector switch, your table. Now that you take the pins out, you just rotate the table the opposite way when the motor is down. But whenever you, uh, and I can, I'll show you how that works too. Drain holes there. It does have a fuel gauge tachometer, flush mount. It's got a nice little cabin. Uh, it's a hell of a boat. I'm gonna just see if this is one I'm thinking about. See how the height you got here. And that's like adjustable pedestal there, so for different heights. Nice. And 
And I think those cushions come out, so if you let it sit outside, you do have the top and the bag drop, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm starting to get a headache again. I gotta get my medical issues fixed. It's starting to slow me down a little bit. It's aggravating. Spare tire. Okay, this is the boat doctor. Uh, 17 pitch prop. Zinc, torque, torque fin. You don't really need to worry about left or right on those. Hydraulic steering, your trim. P tube right here. Make sure you fire it up. You got water coming out. And now, if you get this down in the water, you fire it up. The motor should just barely be moving. But if you fire it up and it's idling for about a minute and it goes boop, 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 probably don't go anywhere. That's saying that maybe you got water in the fuel, which you can get out easily. You just call me up and I can tell you how to do it. Oil drain right here. That's another thing I liked on the 150. <clears throat> you can change your own oil really easy on this. I mean, it'd take you probably 15, 20 minutes tops to change oil. It's just 10, 30 weight, halfway up the hash marks on the dipstick. There's your intake. This is where you put your flusher. Always run, uh, have water going to it and then start the motor. When you get done, shut the motor off, then turn the water off. Uh, gear, your gear oil, that's how you check it. Get a zip tie, put it in there. They're gonna be down a little bit, but if they're down that much, you need to add some. Uh, the drain's right down here. So the first time I'd recommend you having to, wherever you bought it, any Yamaha dealer to do the first 20 hour service, 20 to 30 hours, do that at a dealer. You know, there's going to be a fee, but after that, change your own oil. Yamaha yeah, don't care. Uh, fresh water, or this is a flush. So, touch your motor. If your motor's warm, or when you put water here, this is the backstop. You undo this, put your garden hose on the end of this. When water comes out P2, it's lukewarm. That means it's doing its job. But that water comes out cold. Uh, presenting you get the hot water out of the hose laying on the ground but if it comes out cold that means it ain't going to do you any good the motor's got to be warm to clean everything out from the top to the bottom and do not start the motor if you use this one only okay boat doctor out